Breaking debuted in the Olympics this summer and my social media feed won't stop talking about a white woman. Or a thank you to B-girl Ray Gun. I've seen this before. The Iggy Azalea of it all, where the internet sees a white woman and thinks it knows everything about a culture that she did not build, only benefited from. I've seen this, the cultural dabbling, failing with the security of knowing you'll only be made a mockery and not a martyr. The ability to rise to the tip of everyone's tongue while receiving none of the votes. It's having just finished your cultural studies and not needing any more notes. I don't know much about breakdancing, but my mind does not struggle to conjure images of the black people who wrote that history with the daring of their bodies to exist in public spaces that often expected them to remain unseen. Before Ray Gun, I didn't pay enough attention to the events happening locally, only vaguely knew the names of battles. Schmaddle, Levings, without understanding anything deeper. Before Ray Gun, I didn't know anything about Victor or Jeffro or Sonny or logistics. I didn't know that locally we've seen the likes of Flacco, Kid Jungle, Sapo Loco, or Stress. So I guess I have to thank you, Ray Gun. If your kangaroo hops hadn't been so painful to behold, hadn't forced me to turn away from the spectacle the internet made of you, I wouldn't have looked to my own city where the talent is already fully in bloom. All right.